kind of packed up camp and I think I'm gonna run up and check out the east side real quick before um, I head out of town. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna stick around and try to do anything this morning or if I'm just gonna head straight for home. So, woke up, it was a little bit windy this morning. Uh, I don't know if that means that there's something on the way or what, but the sky looks clear though for the moment. So I came over to the east side to get a feel for the state of everything over here and it looked really good from the road. So I grabbed my bag and started coming down in one of these washes and when I got down here, yeah, it's pretty bare. There is a lot of color, but it's all fallen off the trees and it's on the ground now. So all these trees are looking pretty, pretty stripped bare. That's okay. Um, this is definitely something I wanted to keep in mind for next year. Um, and I would have explored more if I had more time this week. But unfortunately, I just didn't. Who knows? There's a, there's a couple maples up ahead here that might turn out. Or we'll see what they look like and uh, go from there. found this composition with this pine tree growing out of a rock that's like split in half and behind that is a tree that's got this pretty cool yellow leaves on it and uh, mid ground has got this bright green moss on it it looks really cool so I went ahead and set my tripod up and got it framed up and I think uh, I think it looks pretty good problem is, is I've got absolutely dreadful white skies right now so I'm not getting a whole lot of reflected light but I think it looks good anyway so I got this shot at uh, base ISO, as usual, f11, 1 over 8 for a shutter speed. Um, focus stack this one too, even at f11. Trying to get everything in, you know, in focus in the shot is kind of difficult. I got foreground with the rocks here that's really close to the camera, mid-ground with, with the subject, and then far in the back with the tree. It's tough to get that even. It's too close quarters, even with a, a nice, really small aperture. I also had to set my tripod up a little precariously on soft sand and rocks and stuff, and it's kind of a challenge trying to keep it from moving. Um, but I think I got it. Um, I got this shot already taken, and I think I'm gonna probably pack up and start heading out of this wash back to the truck. So. I'm certainly glad I checked out that wash. That was cool. Um, next year, I kind of plan to try to spend more time on the east side of the park over here. Um, I probably would have this year if I'd have gotten here earlier in the week. It just didn't happen. Didn't have time. If you were adventurous enough to want to hike through here long enough, you could probably find quite a bit of color still. 
Me, however, I got a long drive home, so I think I'm going to call it here and just kind of take the scenic drive back up to the visitor center. There's one thing I wanted to stop in there and get a souvenir for, but um, I think I'm going to call it. I think it's been it was shorter than expected. I had hoped for longer, but what I got was a couple days, and I think with those days, I'm pretty stoked by what I got. So by no means do I, um, am I disappointed with my work here. Um, I would have liked to got more fall color, but it's just kind of a matter of experience and knowing where to go. But now I think I've got some things in mind for next year. I'm gonna go check out my memory cards when I get home, but even if I only got three or four shots out of this whole trip, I'll still consider that a win, because the ones I got were like hard earned. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, do a favor and hook me up with a like and a subscribe if you're digging it, and uh, I'd sure appreciate it. So we'll catch you next time.